Keith Janine, a 35-year-old mom to an adorable little boy. Now, Janine used to work as a mall cashier. Her husband asked her to quit so she could focus on raising their son. Now, with her husband's income from working in a hotel in Singapore, they were able to live comfortably. However, Janine, who was used to working and having her own income, wanted to start a business. She wanted to be able to buy things without dipping into their household budget. She also wanted to save more for the future. So when she told her husband about it, he didn't agree at first. He was worried that Janine might not be able to juggle her time well. But Janine insisted and promised him that she'll manage. So eventually, he relented. So Janine opened a photo booth business for weddings. Janine used social media to tell her friends about her new business, and they did help her spread the word quickly. When she got many clients, she hired three employees. She even bought more equipment to handle appointments that were scheduled on the same day. Now, after a few months, one of Janine's printers broke down during an appointment. She couldn't use the other printer as it was in use and she couldn't afford a new one. As a result, she had to cancel the event and refund the down payments, upsetting the customers. Now, this incident caused a stir in her city and raised doubts about her reliability. There was also one time when one of her employees was absent and Janine had to step in despite having another event scheduled later. Now, this further affected her business in a bad way. And after a few more months, Janine noticed a decline in her clients. She realized that weddings were seasonal and it was discouraging. Later, a friend suggested catering to children's birthday parties. However, Janine realized that it was hard for her to deal with kids and so she decided to stick with wedding events. As time went on, it became clear that her approach was not working though and she knew that she had to make changes to turn her business around. Now, afraid to disappoint her husband, Janine tried so hard to save her business but things just kept getting worse. She finally felt really desperate and even thought about closing it down. And while Janine was watching YouTube one day for business tips, she stumbled upon one of my videos. Then she thought, well, Mommy N might be able to help me. And even if she hesitated at first, she remembered her determination to not disappoint her husband. So she took the risk and reached out to me. Mommy N, do you think my business can be saved? She asked me. I would love to help, but first, can you tell me more? I replied. So with all ears, I listened to Janine share what happened and the missteps she took in her business. And then this was what I told her. The first thing you need to do is to identify your mistakes and then fix them quickly. Analyze what went wrong and try to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's impossible to prevent making mistakes, but knowing how to avoid it will help you and your business. Janine, you committed the top five mistakes new business owners make. Mistake number one, lack of planning and research. Mistake number two, underestimating startup costs. Mistake number three, not focusing on the customer. Number four, hiring the wrong team. And lastly, number five, mistake, not being open to change. The key here is to be flexible so you won't fall behind other businesses. I hope you learned something from Janine's experience. You see, even experienced business owners have problems sometimes. What more if you are just starting, right? The important thing is to figure out what went wrong, learn from it, and try not to make the same mistake again. Then you'll have a bigger chance of becoming successful. 